Hello everyone. As we have already discussed about how to take common term of a uh, algebraic expression and how to factorize the polynomials. If we combine these two things, it becomes the chapter HCF and LCM of polynomials. As we already know, the meaning of HCF is highest common factor and the meaning of LCM is lowest common multiple. So basically, we have to look after the all the factors which are there, right? A, A, A square B has factor A, A and B, while A, B square has a factor A and two Bs. Now, when we talk about the highest common factor, so we have to look at what is common in these two. A is common, while B is also common in these two terms. So, A, B will be considered as the HCF of these two monomials. Now, when we talk about the LCM, we basically have to find out the LCM of the numerical values. Here, in this case, both the values are 1, 1. So, the value comes out to be 1 itself. And we have to look at the highest power of the constant. Like, here it is A and here it is A square. So, highest power of A is 2. While here it is B and it is B square. So, the highest power of B is also 2. So, the LCM of these two monomials will become a square into b square. If we look at these two, we have to see that what is common in these two factors and what is the least common multiple of these two factors. When I talk about the highest common factor, so 4 is common in both the terms, so 4. Now we have to look at the constant terms. And we have to find out the least power. Here it is a cube, here it is a square. So a square is common in both. When we talk about b, so the least power of b is 2, which is common in both. The power of p is 3, which is common in both. So it comes out with the LCM. While when we talk about the LCM, 12 and 20, their multiple is 60, which we can also find out by the uh, arithmetic format. And then we have to multiply it by the highest power of the constant. Here it is a cube, here it is a square. So highest power among the two is, between the two is a cube. While the power of b is also 3 which is greater. And the power of t is 5 which is greater in these two. So this will become the LCM of these two monomials. When we talk about any of the terms which can be factorized further. So first we have, have to factor the terms, it becomes x minus y multiplied by x plus y. While this will become x minus y whole square. Now when we talk about the HCF, it is the highest common factor. So x minus y whole square can be written as x minus y into x minus y. So x minus y, this factor is common in both the terms. So this is the HCF and when we talk about the LCM, so, the highest power of x minus y, which is there, is power 2, while the power of x plus y is 1, which is the highest. So, this is the LCM of these two terms. Again, so first of all, we have to factorize x square minus 16 can be written as x minus 4 into x plus 4, while x square minus 7x plus 12 can be written as x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 3. This we know how to factorize a trinomial which we have already studied. So the HCF or the highest common factor between the two is the common factor which is x minus 4 while the LCM is basically the term x minus 4 being multiplied by all the remaining terms which have the power 1 in all the cases. So this is the LCM of these two terms. Here also we can take common, it becomes y plus 4. This can be written as y minus 4 into y plus 4. So when we are talking about the HCF, so the common term is only y plus 4. While when we talk about the LCM, so 3 is there, y plus 4 is there, which is common in both. And then there is factor y minus 4. So we have to write all the remaining factors after taking the HCF common. This can be put as x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 2. This is 
when we take x common it becomes x square minus 4 which is in the form of a square minus b square so further i can write it x minus 2 and x plus 2 if we look at the hcf so the common factor is x minus 2 when we talk about the lcm x minus 2 is definitely a factor but whatever the remaining terms are which is x x plus 2 and x plus 3 the whole of this will become now lcm of this these two polynomials so this is how to find the lcm and lcm of polynomials but before this we have to make it very clear that we should know how to take the common term plus we should know how to factorize either when there are two terms or three terms or four terms and then only we should come to a chapter hcm and lcm of polynomials